What would you do if there was an armor set which could give you magic powers? Certain abilities that other players don't have. You would become a god to the entire server, conquering everything in your way and sending the server down a path of destruction. But in order to obtain this armor, you'd have to complete five extremely difficult quests, which would no doubt make you risk everything. Each quest is gonna be really, really difficult. They're all designed for you to fail, but we're not gonna do that. Oh, and each quest progressively gets more difficult as we go. And the final nail in the coffin is that you need all four armor pieces to access the magic powers and amazing abilities that you'll receive when you get them. Now with that being said, the first quest is to get not one, not two, but 10 sets of full netherite armor. And even on this amazing Minecraft server with this amazing gear, that's not gonna be very easy. What bi- Toxic heap. That's what the biome's called. Toxic heap. That is so weird. There's slime blocks too. That would be really useful. Oh, I didn't expect that. All right. Well, that's the first one. This is going a lot better than I thought it would. Oh my god, I cannot stop finding them apparently. Let me see if there's any more around here, no? Jesus. Okay, I'm just a lucky person, I think. I don't even know, man, it's crazy. We're already at eight, although, let's take this into consideration, okay? Eight, what, what's an armor set? 16 per armor set, we need 10 armor sets. That's 160, um, and we've got eight, so we have got 1 20th of it. Granted, we've been doing this for like a couple seconds, but even still, why, why don't we go get some TNT? Make this a little faster. I've had a bit of trouble finding any creepers, and I don't know the, oh, the moon's like right in the middle, which means that it's getting kind of late. Let's try, uh, let's try a cave in here. Hey, look, a mob. Bang, bang, ah, oh, bang, bang, ow, bang, bang, bang. Let's see how we're doing, shall we? Get some sand here, slash craft. There we go. That's all we got. Uh, uh, uh nothing there's nothing yeah we're gonna need a better strategy for getting tnt i think all right we need to find optimal positioning for this this thing that we're gonna build oh what is this got a little chest in here nothing um no wait hold on this one will actually work we got the c right here and my elytra is uh it's about to break oops, oops. Ah, okay. that's that's great isn't it All right, we're gonna need some building block. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this should do nicely. All right, we are done with the building blocks. Now let's get the other stuff. Oh, little, uh, little gunpowder here. Oh, I thought that guy was gonna blow up. Another thing that I haven't really thought of yet is we need diamonds too, like that one up there. All right, it was just literally just, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, we gotta make diamond armor for all 10 of those sets, which, you know, I, we have so many different goals now. Kind of forgot that's what we were uh, doing in the first place. All right, that should be pretty, that should be enough, I think, for nine. I think that's, uh, that's enough. There we go. 12, nine, perfect. All right, um... So we need a chest, a, a chest again. Grab a chest. Okay, just get some stairs. All right, that makes 12 spruce stairs. A nice little bucket. Ooh wee. All right, boom. Oh, we need coal. Now we have to do home home. Um, you, know what I, you know what I don't need is this. Um, and then we're going to craft some torches. We're gonna do home creeper. Shove those right in here. And then, you know what we're gonna need next? Trap doors, shocking for a creeper farm. There we go. He's got like a, I don't even know what that is. By the way, all credit goes to Waddles here. So, so yeah. And then from what I can tell, he's got an iron, or sorry, a snow golem spawner there. Or spawner egg, whatever. Hello, what is this? Just some scarecrows, that is perfect. 
Sometimes things just work out in your favor. All right, now I'm gonna watch this video uh, and build this thing. That's not looking too bad, actually. All right, the only thing left to do is fly down here. Oh, Jesus. All right, but we're gonna wait here till they start spawning. All right, we're getting a couple already, and they blow up every now and then. Oh, okay, this is not working out very well. I think the server is, like, limiting it. And oh my god, the snow golem despawned again. Yeah, this thing sucks. Okay. We're gonna need a lot of money for this. Currently, the spawn army needs value to 5 million. I've got about 4.2. I built this sugarcane farm, but I really don't think it's gonna cut it. Just to check out everything. Blaze, zombified pig, nope. Okay, yep. So, um, it's, yeah, it, it's gonna be a little, a little pricey. And, uh, we need 800,000. $48 ain't gonna cut it. So I do know of a, uh, of a different way we can make money. All right, welcome to the cave dungeon, everyone, where this armor is useless because keep inventories on anyway. All right, let's mine this up. All right, just mine all this stuff. And then we're gonna do the command slash mine shafts. And then we're gonna click uh, the coal and then um, dungeon ores. And then you got iron and coal. So let's click coal. Can, we, can I sell this? All right, looks like we can sell everything for $5 a piece. Not bad. All right, it's been quite a bit. We just got enough money to buy this thing. Let's uh, buy it, place it down, and AFK buy it. All right, it has been like an hour. Um, so let's let's go ahead and take a look. Wow, that is a lot of gunpowder. That There's not much more to say about that. That's, that's a lot of gunpowder. This is really efficient. I think we should go ahead and go slash RTP. We're going to RTP out. All right, this might take a while. Let's put four, I think it's four and then five. Nope, that's not how it is at all. That's a stack of TNT. We can just keep going with this, like constantly trying to get more creeper stuff, more creeper gunpowder. Yeah, gunpowder. There's experience too, by the way. Oh, wow. We can constantly just try and get more uh, gunpowder. And then in turn, obviously we're gonna get more fire or we're gonna get more TNT as well. And more fireworks, I didn't even think about it. It's an infinite firework machine. This thing's awesome. So with that said, let's head over into the nether and do this. All right, yeah, I'm thinking we need to place them a little bit closer together next time. All right, here's some more and some more. Uh-oh, I think they got damaged by the TNT and now they're really pissed at me. Boom, last little bit, nothing, that's okay. We've got tons of XP here that I haven't collected as well. So here's the deal. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and smelt. Oh, we got stone bricks. I was gonna make this whole area stone bricks, but I guess I forgot. That's all right. So we've got tons of ancient debris here. Let's just smelt this. And then in the meantime, we're just gonna mine straight down from my base. Ah, Jesus. And then go ahead and get some gold. Uh, I also forgot that we need a lot of diamonds too. This is gonna be a pain in my, we do have, um, we have this netherite pickaxe here though. And if we wanted, we could probably get Fortune 3 on it. Let's do that real quick. Okay, it's not really what I wanted, but it's... I mean, it's it's got... What can I say? That, that's that's Trench 8, right? That's insane. Um, I do want a pickaxe that doesn't have Trench on it, though. So, oh no, we need smithing templates. I, uh, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Uh, thing yeah i think this one's probably looted unless oh jesus hello oh hell yeah all right that is one smithing template and i believe 
we can duplicate this with a bit of netherrack and uh, some diamonds, which we're gonna have to go get now. Boom, boom, boom. Oh no, don't tell me it's... Oh, thank God, I thought it was not doable for a second. We can duplicate it. Okay, oh, well, that's good. All right, uh, why don't we combine these, actually? No, actually, that's a horrible idea, because trench... Yeah, we need we need one without, tre without trench. Um, that's super important in my book. So, yeah, let's go get some diamonds. So, okay, I'm trying to process what this is actually going to do for me. We need... So, one smithing template per armor piece, right? And so, if we have 10 armor pieces... Uh, or, sorry, if we have 4 armor pieces times 10, that would be 40, right? So, we need 40 smithing templates, which means we need a lot more diamonds. Perfect. We want to craft 10 of these helmets, right? 10 helmets, 10 leggings, 10 chest plates. Don't have enough room for that. And then the cheapest thing, 10 boots and that should solve our little predicament for armor and we literally just shove all of that into here all right now i think we're gonna definitely need some more um some more gold as well so let's go get that all right we got some gold ingots here perfect now we're gonna craft some of these good stuff all right that makes 30 whole netherite ingots and so we're just going to directly apply that to all of this armor. So actually, I kind of stand corrected. It is pretty near, to be honest. Like, we're almost uh, we're almost there. That And this is 10 sets right here. So I'd say after, like, one more round of ancient debris mining, we should be good to go. So we're going to collect all there. And then if we look here... Oh, we need more sand. 100% we need more sand. Boom. That is going to make it way easier. Is it just me, or are these phantoms, like, way bigger? Because, like, they, I feel like they do more damage, too, and they look m just massive. Yeah, there's no- that's not a regular phantom right there. It always takes so much. It's so frustrating how much, uh... Oh, we already had phantom memory. I don't even know what I'm thinking half the time. Perfect. So now, um... I think I'm ready for round two. This nice little pre-mined tunnel for me. Should serve us nicely. I don't have any flint and steel on me, so... You know what? We are actually going to get a little bit creative all right shove that right in there we are going to take a little dive down here ready Ooh, perfect you know what i will take that happily yep Okay, apparently I miscalculated just a little bit, um, but we're gonna, it looks like we're gonna need, uh, two more. Oh my god, I didn't even think about it. My boots broke. I, I am so stupid. That literally makes this armor useless. How stupid can a person be? Well, there's no point to wear it now. Ugh. Damn it! I guess we just shove it in here. I don't even know. I'll just take one of these sets, I guess. I mean, it's it's not like I have to trade this in for anything. Like, I'll still get the achievement. Speaking of which, I don't think I've ever made another right set on the server, except for the ones that I've made now. All right, we're gonna have to find a different spot now. I just heard, like, the weirdest... Oh, there it is. Oh, you guys can't hear it. Crap. Hold on, wait, you should be able to. Yep, there we go. I keep hearing, like, really weird ambient noises. That's so, so weird. Okay. Let's finish this up. Okay, I I don't know if I like these ambient noises on the uh, on the road. Oh, oh. that was that was that was magnitudes closer than I would like to admit. That was scary. Can't tell how much further this goes, but uh, it's not looking great. No, I think this is the end of it. Yeah. All right, looks like we're gonna have to do some more.
craft us some more ingots here. Not a ton, though. We don't really need, or uh, we don't have enough for a ton. We do need a ton, though. Let's just RTP out and kind of go look for, for more gold, I guess. All right, put that in there. We got uh, four more netherite scraps. So let's just, wait, hold on, hold on a minute. Am I stupid or something? We only needed four. Or sorry, we only needed eight. Like we we didn't need this many. We literally we only have one more. What am I thinking? I don't know if I got enough for two more sets. I only needed literally two more ingots. Wow, I'm I'm stupid sometimes. I just didn't know. Alright. This is the last one. I don't know how this works. If it's just gonna be deposited in my inventory. Maybe I have to hold all of them. Is that even possible for me? Let's look. Oh, it is technically, yeah. Because I'm already wearing the set. All right, just like this. Bing, bang, boom. That's it. Ladies and gents, those are the boots. And that, including this, of course, is 10 sets of full netherite. You know, not the hardest thing I've ever done in this game before, but still, I mean, and this, granted, this is also the worst piece of gear. It makes sense that the worst piece of gear would correlate the, with the easiest challenge. Wow! And these look super good, by the way. I think for now, though, we need to store them in, in, in some safe place. Maybe just in here for, for just for now, okay? We've also got 36 levels. I might as well enchant it. You know what? What the hell? I'm like, just goaded at the enchanting today. Now, that's not great because it's just prop 4, but still. Wow. All right! That is literally... That's the first piece of gear. You know what? I feel like we need an armor stand to commemorate this. All right, perfect. And those are some smooth slabs right there. Do this. Oh, we need more sticks. Get enough there. All right. Like that. Oh, like that. Yep, there we go. All right, we're going to throw this here. I can't really see most of it, but that doesn't look bad. All right, for the next challenge, we're going to have to get 25 beacons. This is the last easiest, easiest one. After this, they start ramping up a lot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, real quick, I wanted to let you know about Feather Client. Feather Client and I have partnered up to create the Bin Taken Fedora hat, which I'm wearing now, the Bin Taken Night Sky cloak, which I'm also wearing now, the Bin Taken Galaxy cloak, the Bin Taken Blue Moon cloak, and finally, the Bin Taken Planet Pet, which literally rotates around you like your queso. It's awesome. Make sure you subscribe and comment hashtag Bin Taken Feather if you want a chance to win one of these items for free, or head over to feathermc.com slash bin taken in order to buy one yourself. Right, guys we have gotten a grand total of zero heads yeah not working out but maybe just no okay yeah there's no wither skeleton spawners either and my sword already has looting three this is an issue and i don't really know what to do about it we can buy them oh yes i didn't even think about that what's my balance what's my balance what's my balance one million one hundred thousand dollars okay oh <laughs> That makes it much easier. There's no way we're going to be able to buy one stack and 11 of these things. Let's try it. Oh, we don't have enough inventory space. Shop, spawners, misc. Yeah, you need 2,200,000. So literally double what we have. This does present another challenge though, because I don't even remotely have enough money for that. All right, let's do um, dungeons. And then we're going to go ahead and... Can I even, I can't even get here. No, oh, it's showing up then. Um, and let's just go here. And then we're going to start this off by just mining uh, a ton of, a uh, ton of ores. Apparently we are uh, actually level five now. And so if we mine just like two more of these and then do mine shafts again, you can see that it goes up. It actually goes up like like really quickly. And so all we have to do is just keep mining, I guess. Like it's it's pretty simple stuff. And we need to be level 15 in order to access the volcanic dungeon right there. Or volcano dungeon, not volcanic. Well, our balance is growing pretty exponentially. And if we look in slash mine shafts now, um, you'll see that we are at level 14, almost at level 15. Our balance currently sits at a nice uh, 1.5 mil. So nothing too wild, but um, 
it, it's I mean it, it's decent but it's not enough for for the amount of wither heads that we're going to need we've just unlocked level 15 which means that we can go and access this it still says lock but if we do slash dungeons and then click on volcanic uh yeah we can easily get it each one for literally three times the amount we get for the for the cave dungeon so this is simply just way better all right we have most of the money we need to buy all of these wither heads uh we're gonna have to subtract it a little bit though that should do it confirm purchase now if we look at our balance we have um 32 000 274 and so that's like like that's a pretty decent amount but we're not even like we're, we're getting we're getting close but we're not we're not quite there we're a little over halfway to where we need to be but long story short we are going to have to go back into the volcano dungeon and keep going wow and here you'll see some gra ground witches <laughs> just just a little hats peeking out of the ground. That is so weird. All right, Volcano Dungeon. Gonna sell all that. Drop. Um, let's actually get out the stack so we know exactly what we have. Um, combat. What would it be in Misk? And then let's just... Oh, wow. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's so much. And that, ladies and gents, is 75 with their skeleton skulls yeah and now we need a hundred pieces of soul sand which is not going to be nearly as hard as the uh with their skeleton skulls done all right mining straight down it's so weird not like collecting the items immediately like like when they drop they just go into my inventory because i have telepathy on this pickaxe um, it's interesting and it makes me feel like I'm constantly lagging. I don't like it. All right, let's do this. Here's the first one. Um, we've got plenty of totems. We've got, oh, we also have, oh, perfect. This will make things uh, nice and easy for me. Here it goes. Where, oh, oh, are you kidding me? making it easy on me wow all right so i think my strat for this one is simply to kind of create a nice little area by um by destroying any lava here we don't want any of uh any of these stars any of these nether stars getting lost or anything so we're going to destroy the lava make it a nice environment uh for items to drop and that crystalline strat that worked really well so we are just going to do that over and over and over again Alright, that's another one. Yeah, that worked really well. That's our third one now. That's our four. That makes seven. That makes eight. You know, this makes me feel a little bit stupid. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I think it only works if I craft them. Which is especially true because it wouldn't have been a, it, like it wouldn't be a challenge otherwise. You know what I mean? It wouldn't have been on the list of challenges. So <laughs> you know, technically I could buy them uh for 10k each and spend 250,000 which I could literally do right now, but I don't think it'd count. I don't think I'd get the item. So we're going to proceed with how we've been proceeding with, with the, uh, you know, we're going to craft them and everything. Cause I think that is how it's going to work. Oh geez. I'm trapped here. Uh, that's how it works. And yeah, I hope I'm right about that. Cause I, if I, if I'm not, then I just wasted several million and a ton of time. That makes nine. That makes 13. That makes 15. That makes 16. That makes 20. All right, that is 25. Let's go. All right, now we're gonna need some more money. There's a lot of money wasted there. And these are the samurai leggings. That is crazy. 
I mean, it's not it's not shocking because I kind of expected it, but still. All right, we're gonna go ahead and throw these on there. They're like lag here. What? It's not even. There we go. And so that is two out of the four armor pieces. And we overbought uh, the glass and the obsidian by quite a bit. Although it's good because it's gonna help me out in the long run with PvP and stuff. And honestly, these two first challenges. These were the easiest ones out of all of them. These were the easiest. So now that we've got these two done, we're on to the third, which is gain 64 volcano gems. That's a bit of a leap. 25 beacons to 64 volcano gems. And if, you, if you're new here and you don't know what that means, we have to do slash dungeons, go over to um, the volcano dungeon, which it's good that we have this unlocked. And we have to mine until we find... Volcano gems and they're really rare. It's like a 0.3% chance or whatever something like that The good news on the other hand is that if we use slash each chest We've got four of them from mining so much already now I want to put this in your head really quickly. We mined we mined for hours hours on hours I mined to the point where I had millions of dollars and we got four Volcano gems that is how rare these things are Okay, no volcano gems yet, but we're getting there. Uh, it, it, it's just re gonna require a little bit more mining, I think. Okay, so, full inventory. We didn't get a single one. This might, uh, this might take a while. So I can't really find it in chat, but we just got another volcanic jet volcano. Volcano, not volcanic. Volcanic would be cooler. But Volcano, vol, vol, Volcano. So we are now at five and we are experiencing quite a bit of lag at the moment. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't even eat right now. You almost need to come in here with like a milk bucket or something or like tons of totems uh, and keep popping them to remove all the effects. It's really frustrating. That's eight right there, holy shit. All right, I think we're entirely full um, in our inventory. Losing dura we're also losing durability rapidly on the armor. Volcano dungeon, boom, boom. That makes nine, that makes 10. So I'm a little bit confused. And I almost want to take a screenshot of this. Because how did I die? I had a totem. I had a totem in my hand. How is that possible? That's like a weird glitch right there. What the hell? I mean, it doesn't matter because we've got keep inventory anyway. So, it, it, again, it's irrelevant. But still, what the hell? We've also got a bunch of different keys, by the way. So we might as well open these. Maybe we'll get something good out of it. Oh, I got a bunch of zombie spawners. And an elytra. That's actually super useful. Oh, let's go. That is another volcano gem. Again, it's very random. Like, I had not been mining for a long time when we got that. Looks like that's another one. Uh-oh. Popping totems is always low-key nice because it gives you a nice little regeneration boost. We gotta run, though. I don't wanna... I don't want them ruining it. Looks like we have another volcano gem as well. And another. That's one less totem. One more volcano gem, though. We're gonna have to sh uh, sell all of these guys. That's another. And another. And we're also ready to sell ourselves some more of this stuff. We got like 21,000 from that. That's crazy. That's 22. Let's sell everything. 23. 24. 25. 26. 27. 28. 29. That makes 32. We're halfway there. 33. 3, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, we literally have one more to go. All right. That, ladies and gentlemen, is 64. Have we gotten it? Okay. That is the samurai chest plate. We can also do slash mine shafts and go ahead and go sell everything that we earned. Let's go back home because I am so tired of constantly being poisoned. Um, there is the sapphire chest plate that is no longer of use because we don't have the boots anymore. And this is it. This is uh, the, uh, the samurai gear. I mean, we don't have all of it, obviously. We need one more. So we'll just set those up there, and then we should be able to get quite a bit of XP from these. The next and final one for the armor. It's the hardest one, all right? By far. We need to kill the volcano boss single-handedly. I might have to find a time when I am entirely 
alone on the server. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. We go to Volcano Dungeon, and we look in here. Um, uh, there's just like, here, actually, if we, I have my scoreboard automatically disabled within Feather Client, but let's re-enable that. That way we can kind of see what's happening here. So currently there are, is it not going to tell me how many people there are in the volcano dungeon? Usually it does on the scoreboard. I guess not. That's fine. So if, if that's the case, we could just estimate there's maybe four people in here right now, you know, based on just like that guy and that guy, maybe five people. And so that's not good because you know, right when, right when that boss is summoned, they're all going to bump rush it. Ooh, sharpness four. Nice. They're all just going to rush it, and uh, they're going to all uh, get the kill on me. Or not not on me, but, you know, they're going to get the kill on the boss, and I'm not going to get as much damage as I need, because I need all the damage, and it's just going to be a nightmare. Right, so I feel like our only option is to summon this boss outside of the arena. So I think I'm going to ask the owner about it and see if he can do anything. All right, so what he told me is that I'm going to have to pay him $3 million dollars. If he wants me to summon it just for me. And we are currently at around 1.5 or 1.6 or something. So we've got a lot of work to do. By the way, I don't know how I got to 1.6. I like I was just looking at my scoreboard and it's and it's at that much. So I'm thinking that either I was wrong about how much I mined. I thought I mined like five hundred thousand dollars worth. Um either that or somebody somebody just paid me a bunch of money. Um either way though, we can start off small with that and then we'll you know, get some XP because because why not? Um and uh yeah let's get to it all right the issue with this is there are just so many mobs like they're all just they all just come in and they they're all trying to kill you and it's insane and they just a lot of them don't take any damage like none of them i think there's oh well no this guy's taking damage and, but even like when they do take damage, it's like it's not enough to kill all of them. Not even close. Oh, no, we're gonna die. Ah. We're wasting just so many totems here. That's $3 million, which we are going to pay right to countdown. All right, we're gonna do command slash pay countdown. Oh, we have to specify the amount. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That is a lot of money. Whew, okay. You know what, we should probably, I think he's gonna summon it on me. Um, so we should be, we should be like in the forest. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point actually. Oh my gosh, we don't have any uh, golden apples either. Let's go get some really quickly. The amount we have here is just gonna have to do. Okay, we don't have a lot of it, um, but we have a decent amount of gold. Oh no! We also need more totems, and we don't have enough money to get them. Oh no, we're wasting totems, we're wasting totems, wasting lots of money. We can get a total of, um, like, 11. I guess let's just, let's pay this guy. I, I don't know how this works, if it's just gonna spawn. Pay, countdown, three... Three million. Ready? Three, two, one, boom. Okay, that is, that's all the money. Oh, it's different. Very different. Um, I didn't expect that. I thought it was gonna be the old one. How much damage do we do? Oh, okay. Okay, let's, let's, let's try and, um. Oh! We do loads of, what the? Oh boy, is like taking extra damage too. Damage on damage, what is happening? Every now and then, it'll just take a massive hit. I don't know why. It's not even fair. I'm just goaded. I mean, getting here was hard. It cost a lot of money. But once we're actually, like, killing this thing. I mean, this is all so easy. Look at this. Ready? Three, two, one. Hold on. Not, not one yet. And that's the samurai helmet, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. That's the complete and full set. All right, so that is the full samurai. I thought I duplicated it there for a second. That is the full samurai set. Let's put this thing on. We've got the entire thing. All right, so in theory, if we sneak for like four seconds, we'll become entirely invisible. Take off everything. 
Boom. Okay, hold on, I'm holding the totem. Oh, we're still holding the totem. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, you get the gist. And if you press sneak twice, it'll give uh, your enemies blindness within a 10 block radius. Obviously, there are no enemies around here. And then the other ability is when you're using Elytra, it'll literally give you infinite fireworks. So yeah, it's really just great in combat and travel and everything else. Last thing, funny story. The next challenge requires something that's unreleased. Hardened Souls. That's right. I've uh, Apparently, I've been sneaking for too long. So Hardened Souls, actually Souls in general, Soul Armor, uh, has been removed temporarily. Uh, they're going to add it back at some point in the form of a dungeon, I believe. But for now, I have literally no way to get the samurai sword. That's right. It's the samurai sword. That's what I'm after. We've got all the armor. Now we just need the sword, but there's no way to get it right now. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I will see you guys in the next one.